My name is Stephanie Trottier. And my name is Brianna Kilduff. We are nurses here at the MGH Diabetes Center. We're here to talk about managing diabetes when you're sick. So any illness can raise your blood sugar levels and make it hard to keep your blood sugar in range. Things can get dangerous very quickly if you don't know what to look for or how to prepare. Planning ahead can help you avoid possible complications. Talk to your healthcare provider about sick day management before you get sick so you know what to do to manage changes in your blood sugar. When will you need to use a sick day plan? There are many reasons to use your sick day plan, but some examples are colds, flu, stomach bugs, urinary tract infections, skin infections like ingrown toenails, any illness with fever, vomiting, and diarrhea needs special attention. Even a mild case of any of these illnesses can make managing blood sugar very difficult. What else can you do to prepare for a sick day? Keep an updated list of phone numbers with your healthcare provider local emergency room, and family contact numbers on hand. It's also a good idea to put together a sick day survival kit that has everything you'll need in one place so you don't have to gather everything when you feel miserable. Some things to keep in your box. Testing supplies, which is an extra glucometer, batteries, test strips and lancets, and ketone strips. Glucose tablets, a thermometer, regular jello, juice boxes, and small cans of regular soda. Go through your box every six months and replace anything that has expired. What are some things you should do to manage your blood sugar while sick? You should check your blood sugars regularly, especially before meals and at bedtime. You may need to check your blood sugars more often than regular, especially if you're on insulin. Try to eat the same amount of carbohydrates as you normally do because this will help keep your blood sugar stable. Keep taking your medications. If you're taking a sulfonylurea or insulin, you may need to adjust these doses. This will be part of the plan which you create with your healthcare provider. Check with their pharmacist also before buying over-the-counter medications because these may have added sugar in them. When should you call your healthcare provider? It's best to call your provider and let them know what's going on if you aren't getting better after a couple days you've had diarrhea or vomiting for more than six hours, you have a fever of above 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit that's not coming down to normal, you have ketones in your urine, your blood sugar readings are above 240 after checking twice over a few hours.